Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a huge equestrian tack haul because I went to the Greenhawk sale in Mississauga today and it was amazing. I saved so much money, which I will announce at the end, but for now let's just get started on some of the stuff that I bought. I'm going to start off with some of this cheap stuff and then go up to the more expensive stuff. Um, I got this orange flavored Lick It bar for $2.50. It's regularly $3.50, so I saved a dollar on that. And, um, this is its original package if you are looking to buy one. And this is what they look like on the inside. It's like a Lick It written on it. Um, Excuse my appearance, I just got back from the barn, so I didn't really have time to do anything other than brush my hair, throw on a different shirt. Um, I bought these foot warmers because I wanted to try them out to see if they worked for if I went on like a long winter ride or something, so they would keep my feet warm. Um, it comes with two sets. And I got them for a dollar, and they are regularly two dollars, so I saved another dollar on that. Um, the next cheap thing that I bought, um, probably these Supra Bell boots. They were originally twelve dollars, and I bought them for four dollars at the Greenhawk sale. Um, they're just the velcro type, so they're super easy to take on and off. Um, regular rubber bell boots, nothing fancy. No glitter or anything, just regular blue rubber bell boots. Um, only four dollars, and they were originally twelve, so I saved about eight dollars on just the bell boots. Really nice quality and name brand, so that was a really good one. Um, I also got these winter riding gloves. Um, I wanted to try them out. I've never tried them before, but I tried them on in the store, and they kept my hands pretty warm just in the store. Um, I guess you could wear them as riding gloves, but I probably won't. Because my hands don't get very cold when I'm riding. So, yeah, these are just to keep me warm, my hands warm in the winter when I'm turning out horses. Um, I got those for $6, and they are originally $12. So, I saved $6 on those. The next thing I bought was this halter. Um, it was originally twelve dollars but I bought it or originally thirteen dollars but I bought it for six so that was a really nice deal just in baby blue because those are Kansas colors blue um yeah great halter um the next thing I bought were treats it's just regular Martin's horse feed, special moments, whatever you want to call it. Horse treats. Um, I, here I'll show you what they look like. Um, they're just like little pebble type looking thingies. Um, just put these in your horse's feed and I'm sure they'll love it. Or you can just feed it to the next treat. Um, I got those for, I got three bags, and for three bags it would have been $18, but I got them for $15 instead, and I got two apple and one banana. I highly suggest you get them because you get lots of treats in the bag. Um, the next thing that I got were these... Taylor Sportsman Riding Breeches. Um, I 
personally really like them. They're a nice like fabric, like they aren't, they sound really crunchy, but they're really soft. Um, they're also really warm. They stretch a little bit up here, but not too much. Um, you've got your pockets on the sides right here. And they're sort of weird. They have the zipper on the side. I've never had a zipper on the side, so it's sort of weird. Um, but I tried them on and they're great. Um, the next thing, which is also my favorite, I got a pair of Ariat, or Ariat, contour tall boots and I absolutely I'm in love with them like they are my ne newest best friend um I just love them um I'm having a bit of trouble breaking them in so if you have any tips on how to break in your tall boots please comment below because I'm in desperate need of help on how to break in my new tall boots because I'm supposed to be riding in them in a week and I don't know how I'm going to break them in in a week. So please leave some nice comments below and let me know what you thought. Oh wait, I need to tell you guys one more thing. I bought these for $280 and they are regularly $320 so I saved $40 on them. Um, I spent $450 on all this. Don't forget that these were nearly 300 with tax or more than 300 with tax so that's a big cost um and yeah i spent 450 and i saved 150 so that was a really nice deal so please leave some nice comments down below and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks